24 Hour Le Mans winner, world champion. How does it feel? Well, it feels great. Um, it's only my second time doing the World Championship and uh, finished second first and now winning, it's, it's great. But winning Le Mans, it's definitely it's, uh, the top of it. It's, um, it's a dream. Uh, for some guys, it came very early, very soon and easier, it looks like. It's always hard. For me, it was a long fight. It was seven Le Mans to get up to the title, to this race, even if though it's an LMP2. But I think this year was kind of special because it was so competitive, the LMP2, and all the teams, they had great drivers. So we could see the lineup of everyone. So it makes it even more special when, when all the big ones are there. So obviously it makes me super happy and it's a, it's a life work time. So it's about your young, as he's not here, you know, tell us about Phil, you know, how has he progressed in the three seasons you have been racing with him? Well, it's crazy. Phil improved incredibly a lot. It's uh, what I liked about working with him is like he's, he's humble and he works hard at the gym. We put him into hard tasks uh, through these years and he's doing great. He's doing really, really well and he listens to what I've been saying. And it's just interesting that, you know, when he came to the hard moment that he was ready for it, especially it was a big one, Lin Lamar, and it was the last hour and he was just confident that he could do the job. And he, he was obviously, I was nervous because it's not me driving, but he did amazingly. And, uh, and it was interesting because he was picking up things that I told him and he just put it into practice um, that I said over this last three years. And that made me super proud of him. And uh, I think he should be proud of it as well. Next race is Portimao, your home race. Tell us about this track and how important it is for the EMS to have the season finale in Portugal for you as a driver, especially this year after winning Le Mans and the world, world title. Well, it's, it's a big uh, boom in Portugal now because, uh, well, you know, for English it's kind of normal to, for another English to win Le Mans, but for a Portuguese it was the first time that the Portuguese won in Le Mans in LMP2 and it was pretty big, such, especially in such an iconic year with, um, with, with the competitive how it was Le Mans. So to race now in Portugal, everyone is cheering, everyone is just uh, want to go there to support me and to see the race, even if it's, it's a weekend after the Formula One, which everyone is, is um, yeah, excited to see those cars and then obviously it's way more accessible for the, yeah, the LMP2, so uh, motorsport in Portugal, it's, it's on a high now because not only me but as well other drivers are doing really well, so a lot, we are actually being on the cover of the bigger newspaper, so it's great. Unfortunately, we have the COVID, which is, uh, yeah, it's a shame. But again, somehow, if they can go to the grandstands, they will, and the support that I've been having through social media, through the newspaper and everything, it's great. And um, let's see how it's gonna be the um, allowance to go into the track or not, but uh, everyone is cheering for, 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 for me and for United.